Welcome to Princess Park for the last round of 1986 in the pro football game between Carlton and Melbourne. My name is Ray White and with me in the pro commentary football team is former Hawthorne captain Don Scott. Welcome to the last round of the year, Don. Good, thank you, Ryan. Madden's got the ball and he's going towards centre-half forwards. A high kick, Silvani in front. And despite the opposition from Robin White, he took the mark. Stephen Silvani right on the 50-metre line. Plays on quickly. It's a high ball towards the forward pocket. Ralph and Paul Meldrum with the kick. Now on centre wing. A high ball looking for the forwards. There's nobody leading. There's just a big pack gaining. And there's a player, and player down who would keep with the play. And again, for the third time... Stephen Silvani down behind play, and it's the third time ball's gone over on the full, deep in that right forward pocket for Carl. Now it's on behind play. In there, Stephen Turner has always been in a little bit, few old occasions already this year. And Stephen Silvani went down behind play, and Kernahan in there mixing it up with Steve Turner. Now the umpire's gaining control or trying to regain control. And Melbourne's playing with a lot of feeling. Number 19, Paul Payne, a number made famous by Ray Biffin. Started in the 50s, Paul. Oh, what a nice mark. Wayne Brackwell, right on that 50-metre line, got the ride, shoved the boot into the back and took a beautiful mark from behind. Undecided as to where to go, a short kick. It's only really gained about 20 metres now with Warren Ralph. Now, Ralph, a very, very skillful player. A beautiful kick, usually and can kick goals from a long way out. And obviously he believes he's well within kicking distance. We can see the 50 metre mark there. He'll come and kick from 45. It's a good kick off the boot. And the accuracy's there, so there's the first major of the game. Carlton, the first. The Melbourne side kicking to the left of the screen, and uh, as Don said, Melbourne's working hard. And the free kick, uh, as it sends it forward, Madden in the front, couldn't take the mark. Batterson, he's kicked it straight through the middle. So Melbourne's first goal. Melbourne one goal, two, eight points. Carlton won six, one goal, six behinds, but it's picked up there by Len Gandini. I'll have a look at Robert Flower on his own. One bounce. He sends it across looking for, no, Wayne Harms chips across, but good play there, Williams. Over there, picked up by Sizer, straighten up, Greg, and he puts it through. Yes, good goal, Melbourne. And a good goal, the young Sizer. Great play from Robert Flower. So Melbourne, two goals, four. To learn that, that he had plenty of time he laid on the ground just that little bit it's not much good being on the ground when play is all about you what a shocking kick by Paul Punt Brett love it but with now Des English he goes goal not a good looking kick but that's another goal to Carl that's their second down to the ground Cordner doing well against Kernahan and Cordner on the left foot sends it across with a terrible kick oh badly directed to Robin White and Paul Meldrum says thank you very much at the 40 meter mark and you couldn't get that any more easily Bad play there, Melbourne. Bradley? Oh, got to play that. Craig Bradley will get that mark. And uh, the umpire's giving 15 metres against Adrian Batterson. Well, the uh, Melbourne boy had to uh, attempt to, to try and stop the mark. It's just arrogance on Carlton's part. Now Bradley lining up for his second attempt at goal. The first one floated across the face. We'll see if this one's a little better. It is, so Carlton... So Newport sending it up in the air. There's English and Motley and Peter Motley, the ex-South Australian, to take the mark. So Motley sends Carlton forward again. Kernahan having another attempt and has got this mark. And uh, he, uh, I don't think uh, the distance will be a problem because Ralph has a very good kick for goal. So Ralph uh, is going to try himself out with this one. Kicks it high. A great kick. Can it come back? Oh, at the back, uh, it's going to be a goal. Great goal. Unbelievable goal from Ralph. And uh... Turner, Turner. Slow motion, this stuff, as Silvani gets it. Onto the left foot, now going goalward. Behind Bradley, has he taken it? He has. Really dug the knee in there. Craig Bradley came from behind, stuck the knee into Paul Payne, and took a very good mark. Playing in the forward pocket. Made his name earlier in the season. Ruck roving, picked up a lot of kicks around the ground. Was a vital link man. But a very dangerous player up forward. Able to get up in the air. Has already kicked two goals. And lining up now for Carlton seventh. Two players on the mark from Melbourne. Stabs at it. 
and he's kicked the seventh goal for Carlton, Craig Bradley. Really not out of this game. Well, I hope so, Don, because it'll be good for the, uh, the competitiveness of the game as Motley takes the mark and doing well on Flower. He's controlling that situation against uh, Robert Flower. So Peter Motley certainly playing a good game. Anyway, back to the play. As we find Peter Dean will take the mark. Dorodich, Harms, move it says Ken Sheldon and Harms goes through. Oh, how do you like to back this through the middle? That's the way you like to see Wayne Harms. He does it so often. Been very strong on that centre half back position. Finds or looking for Kernahan. Moore in there should have laid a stronger tackle on Kernahan. Now the big fella goes through. Dodges goes onto the right foot. And there's the Carlton goal. That's the ninth for Carlton. Stephen Kernahan allowed to get away then by Peter Moore. Dodge. It was Paul Payne instead of Brett Lovett, called the wrong player earlier, and now Doritich. John Doritich played very solidly at centre-half back, a good kick to centre-half forward. Stephen Silvani getting away from Tony Campbell, back to Kernahan, to Silvani. Now go goal with check side kick. Meldrum has taken the kick, and well done, Carlton. Carlton playing with a lot of confidence. Have taken back, controlling the game from there, sends it across. Good play to Bradley. Bradley flicks it over to Meldrum. He's got time to... Uh, Tom Elvin to support there. Good play. And Meldrum streams past the 50 metre line. What's he done? Offline. Oh, is he kicked the goal? He's kicked the goal. Payne, is it? No, it could be. No, it's Russell Richards at centre half forward. Those players look the same. Now Richards, it tumbles a kick in towards centre half forward. Ball to ground. Melbourne roving well through. Greg Healy he goes goal. Would can he bring it around? He has, and that's a long overdue goal. That's Melbourne's foot across to Jarrett. Left foot, a high ball, pack flies. No one can bring it down. Dual cover, recovers first. Tries to change direction of play, a miss kick. And that was unintentional, Bruce Dool. He's kicked a point in his last game. Well, I should say his last home and away game, because he'll certainly be playing in the final. Dean, and Dean has got time. He's got a hand pass to Elvin, and Elvin streams through the centre. He's going to find the Craig Bradley out the back. Bradley flies and takes a great mark. Great mark, Craig Bradley. And as Don said, a bit of a jump in the box, this boy, but can play football. Well, that was a good mark by Bradley then. He realised the situation. Robin White was in the correct position in front. Bradley just jumped that fraction of a second early, got the little bit of a sit, kept White on the ground, and took a good mark from behind. Now Bradley lining up for Carlton's 12th goal. Certainly come into the game since quarter time. Has already kicked three goals. One in the first, two in the second. He's lined up, made no mistake. So that's his first goal for the third quarter. An actual fact is, sorry, Madden Richards. Madden, Doritich, breaks one tackle. Has his pants pulled off him. Doesn't deter him, goes to centre half forward. Ralph, leading well up the ground, takes a good mark. Got out of the game, plays on quickly, Bradley. Oh, good play, Warren Rolf. Bradley now going to that open goal, blazes away. And there's the 14th goal to Carlton. Controlling the air now as it goes over to Paul Meldrum. Meldrum sends it down there and Warren Rolf will take the mark at the 50 metre line. So Rolf kicked the goal, uh, similar position in the second quarter. And he's had kicked two. And he puts it on his way. What's he done? It's swinging back. Oh, what a magnificent goal. Lightning strikes twice at Princess Park. Bradley coming in there to pick it up again as Bradley swings around the left foot. Look at Meldrum. Tommy Elvin will run, but he says, run in, Paul Meldrum. Little chip right through the middle. How easy is that? Really wanted to go for it. That was Newport. Now across to Elvin. A chip. Sheldon. They've got it open, Carlton. Look at Meldrum by himself. He's got Blackwall handball. Now go goal with Wayne Blackwall. No, that's arrogance for you. Warren Ralph with the ball. Now left foot, Ralph. But it doesn't make any difference. Carlton playing with a lot of confidence. And time to get around that player. Towards the centre, Healy. One bounce. Looking around. Should be looking goalward. Does this time. Chips it in. And Zan Shane Zantuck holds his ground and takes an easy high mark. Got a chance now to finish in a little bit of glory as far as his games are concerned. Ball on its way. Let's hope it's a goal for Shane Zay. It is. Well done, Shane Zantuck. You've kicked yourself a goal. That's Melbourne's. Very quiet game. So they've been in fine voice, getting tuned up for next week. Duel decides to go back there to Motley and will be paid the mark. Stephen Stretch couldn't punch it away. And he's played a great game, Motley. 
Madden, well done. Dean, Bradley, Sheldon, an open goal. What has he done? He's banged it through for the 18th for Carlton. 18. Carlton, they'll be just going through the motions. There's more players around the ball now. It looks like a rugby scrum. More in there. Gets it across to Batterson. Batterson, another handball. Going goal, what is David Williams? What can he do this time? Let's hope it's a goal. I think it is, so he's finally come into play, David Williams. Play board. Onto the left, now a handball, very slow, cut off by English. Precision through that half-back line. Sheldon, Madden, that's good stuff. Meldrum, look at this, goals open, players have nowhere to be seen from Melbourne. And Bradley, no opposition whatsoever, it's run in, and he's kicked his sixth goal. So, Carlton playing Merry Hell here at Princess Park. 20 goals, 19, 139. Melbourne 6 17 53. We've played 29 minutes of this final quarter. Well, there's the siren. End of the season for Melbourne. And a big win to Carlton, Princess Park. So the Pro Football scoreboard shows Carlton 20 goals, 19 139. Defeating Melbourne 6 goals, 17 53. The Blues stamping their authority on the game early and never really relenting. The final scoreline showing Carlton 20 goals, 19, 139. Too good for the Demons who could manage only six for the day. Six goals, 17, in fact, a total of 53. Craig Bradley uh, finished the day with six goals and good news for Carlton fans as he gets back into form for the finals after having a sensational start to the year. And Warren Ralph also played well today to finish with five, whilst for the Demons, well, they only kicked six and Healy, in fact, kicked two of those. So Carlton finish off in third spot on the ladder behind Hawthorne and the Sydney Swans. As we know, they've got the double chance, whilst the Demons, after that loss today, drop down to 11th position on the ladder. There's going to be some great finals action, though, coming your way, and I hope you'll be able to stay with us for all that action here on Pro Football.